It is Thursday and once again I am on my lunch break so let me show you the food. This time is actually food that I think I'll like. Uh, we have rice, there's uh, I think beef or pork with some mushrooms. These are like cookies and this is, I don't really know what this is, maybe like zucchini, um, something like that, but I put a little of that to just just to try it, um, I don't. I, I still don't know at what time I'm supposed to go there for like the perfect time because one time I went too early and everything wasn't there. But I feel like now I'm not going fast enough, even though it's almost the same time. I I don't understand. Uh, also, my coworker gave me a tea today, which is so nice of her. Uh, it's also the kind I really like. Uh, so I am really, really happy about that. <laughs> Very grateful. And yesterday, I forgot to show you, another co-worker gave me this. I think it's like a little candy. Um, but again, very grateful. So right now I have a little bit of time. Uh, I think it's kind of an hour, but not really because I have to go back. But um, I have time to eat and then relax for a tiny bit. And then I have to go back. I still have... Two classes today, one that's 40 minutes and one that's an hour, which is insane, but I still have to prepare material for the one hour class, but I do have time to do that. So that's the plan for today and I'm exhausted. Um, did I mention that it's Thursday? Uh, tomorrow's Friday and the weekend is so close. I can almost feel it, but it's not quite there. So. This is the update for now and I'll let you know if anything else happens. I'm back! Well, I have been for like two hours, but I needed to go to the convenience store and I just sat on the sofa for one moment and looked at my phone and that moment became two hours. So <laughs> uh, I uh, stood up and went to the convenience store and got two bottles of water. Uh, and by two bottles, I mean like the giant ones, like these ones, and it's getting really heavy. So at one point I will maybe have to buy like a water filter or something like that because it's a lot. Um, <laughs> I go through a lot of water, um, there's a lot of plastic too, uh, but that's how it is for now at least. Uh, now I have to eat dinner, also from the convenience store. I found this! It's bread. I really, really hope it's not sweet. But I didn't even notice, but the convenience store next to me has like... There were kind of like three breads in there and some of them were a lower quantity. I don't know how to say that. It was like, just like this. Um, I think it was a different brand, but I got this one because it looks the most like bread and I don't know, I, I have high hopes that it isn't sweet bread. I just, if this is regular bread, this would be my salvation. You don't even understand how much of a bread deficiency I have right now. Uh, but I really, really, really hope for the best. So now I have to eat dinner. I have a ton of leftover, well a ton. I have some leftover from yesterday and it's Anything, I'll make something from the freezer and yeah, sit on the laptop and just do nothing <laughs> because I am exhausted and I just, one more day is just tomorrow and then I can just relax for the weekend. It's, I've only been here like <laughs> two days this week so far, um, but still, I'm exhausted. Today was a very long day as well. I um, left work at 6 p.m. and I'm just, I am tired, so can't wait to relax. But this is the plan for now, so we'll go for that. I think I'm going to have these for uh, dinner and it says on the back in here that the pan doesn't need to be hot or oiled and just put them in for 10 minutes and flip them from like every two minutes. And look at my wok. Uh, I've read that you're not supposed to um, wash it with uh, soap. So I, it's a bit oily, but like after I was done washing it, I just cleaned it up with a paper towel. Well, 
After I was done cooking, I just cleaned it up with a paper towel and then I, oil, I heated it up a lot and then put some oil in and I hope that's the right way because this walk is causing me pain. I don't understand how to, <laughs> to manage it. If anyone has walk advice, please comment down below. I need help. Uh, but we'll see how these things work. I really, really hope they'll turn out fine because I really want them to be good. And I tried a slice of bread, of this bread, and as you bite it, it's still slightly sweet, but it's not sickly sweet. So it's a sweet I will accept. Um, it's still a little too sweet for my taste, but you know, beggars can be choosers. So this will do just fine. Um, so as I said, I'm going to have this for dinner and uh, the leftover like shrimp dumplings that I had yesterday and maybe some things from the fridge and some snacks. So that is the meal for tonight. I added some oil to help it along, but this is burning. Everything I make in this pan just burns. So I think I might need to buy another pan. I, I, I honestly don't know if I'm the problem. Am I the problem? Please. I just want my food not to burn. Like, is that too much to ask for? This is a frozen good. How am I not capable to make this? I just, please. What do I need to do? I burnt it. <laughs> At this point, it might just be cheaper to just buy the food. Um, I did just think about this right now, but maybe if I reduce the gas, um, like the amount it releases, maybe the flame wouldn't be as big because I, I don't have low flame. I just, there's just campfire. So maybe I'll try that as well, but... It smells amazing. It's just very, very black. <laughs> um, I know for a fact that there is a shop or like two on the nearby street that sells these. So I might just have to go there one day and buy the actual thing um, properly made. <laughs> but let's try these. I, I honestly don't know what the filling is with, but here goes. I did put ketchup on it because I'm white, but probably should have tried one without anything first. Let's do that. Okay, we'll leave the ketchup for next time. Mmm. I really like that. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. It's very good. I don't know what it is, but it's very good, even though I burnt mine. This would have been so good if it wasn't burned, but definitely gonna try making these again properly this time. But I'm gonna eat my dinner now. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know how this turned out, but it's still delicious, you know? Mm -hmm. It's Friday and one more time I am on my, <laughs> uh, my lunch break and I still have a bunch of things that arrived today. I hope that's all of them. If not, well, that should be all of them, hopefully. But this is what I got. Um, I will open them. Check out my other video because if I put them in this, it will be way too long. Um, I think I'll post, I don't know what that is, a Taobao video. But I'm going to unpack all of these. I ate lunch at the kindergarten and brought back the leftovers because I felt weird just Take the food and leaving, especially since I'm always like, the room where my desk is, is the room where the principal's desk is. They're like, it's a small room and there are three desks. Mine, the principal's, and uh, there's another person. I think she does something with administration as well. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but sometimes it's just awkward. So <laughs> I'm going to put the leftovers in a fridge. I had rice with um it was like just plain rice <coughs> and i'm getting sick and the kindergarten is so cold in there especially since 
the room where I'm at is very close to the entrance and the entrance is kind of, the door is open and it's so cold outside today. I think it's like 13 degrees, maybe even less. It's just so cold. Um, but what did I want to say? Uh, oh yeah, for lunch I had, um, uh, they, there was like white rice and on the side there was a uh, chicken made, I don't know, it was like cut very small pieces and then fried in some sauce. I didn't have sauce. So it, it was very good. I still have leftovers. But even when I uh, I went to get the lunch, it was the chicken was already cold. So I was hoping for warm, but that wasn't the case. At least the rice was warm, which was nice. Um, and then there was um, a boiled egg you could take. I took one. Uh, I'll put it in the fridge because I haven't eaten it. Um, there was some soup, but I don't particularly love their soups. Uh, it's it's not really soup. It's just like water with like an egg in it and maybe some tomatoes. It's very light, but it's just eggs and soups are not my thing. That was the lunch and now I'm going to open this. Relax for a tiny bit and then go back to the kindergarten because oh, I'm exhausted. Um, also today I was supposed to do something but they announced they told it to me like in the morning um, and I was like I, I have nothing prepared can I please start doing that starting next week and they're like yeah sure and I was so relieved like there I was so stressed and scared asking if I can start since next week because I don't know it's just it's my thing but I don't know, I was stressed, but I'm so glad they said yes, so I have time to prepare, because I was taking like, I don't, what, today? And I'm glad that's not the case, so. <laughs> Starting next week, um, I'll have to, like they added some hours that I have to do, but that's fine, so. Yeah, I'll see you in the evening, I guess. I am back home and it's raining and so ugly outside, um, but, it doesn't matter, my umbrella arrived at the perfect time, so I was perfectly safe. And um, on my way home, I stopped at Wallace, which is like a, a fast food, very similar to KFC or McDonald's, and I got a menu, and they were like, buy one, get one free, so I didn't even have to say it like that, they just did it. So I have what people would assume for two people, it's just me. But I paid 39 yuan for all of this. Insane. But look at this. I mean, insane, like very, very cheap. I got two potatoes. There were more potatoes in there, but I took the courier tax, so there's less now. Uh, they are uh, chicken nuggets. And then there's two hamburgers, as you can see. Well, hamburgers. It's like a chicken burger. And then two large drinks. Do you see how much food this is? 39 for all of this. Insane. Europe could never, but <laughs> I'm so excited to eat them. The potatoes are really good. They're not McDonald's good, but they're really good. They're also so, so hot. So I love that. This is great. Eating out is so much cheaper than just buying ingredients and then burning them and attempting to eat it that I might just buy stuff like already made not healthy for me I won't do it it's just very tempting so I'm going to eat dinner take these things off because I'm exhausted and eat so I'll see you next time bye it's Saturday so it's my first day off love that for me and today I didn't want to do anything but I still did something <laughs> I did wake up at like 2 p.m. which is crazy um, but you know how it is. I I didn't want to wake up, so I didn't, because I had no reason to. Um, I went to the Star Mall for the first time. I, I wasn't planning on going there, but I just wanted to look around in the, the area where I live, but there was nothing here, so I was like, let me just go to a mall, and I looked on the Baidu. It's like their Google, but it's Baidu. Um, and I looked there how to get there and it said you could take a bus directly there You could also take the metro, but I would have had to change it And I, I was a bit weary of doing that because I, I wasn't sure how to buy the ticket for that So I went by bus because there was one directly to the mall But to pay for the bus 
it was so difficult because I couldn't pay with WeChat. Like I pay for everything. You need an app to pay for the right. But the one that they use, you need a Chinese ID to be able to get into it. And I obviously don't have that. So I was struggling. I like, I was on the bus trying to figure it out. And then I approached, um, a woman on the bus. She was like roughly my age. So I felt more confident that she might help me. And she did. And, um, in the end, I figured it out. There's an app on Alipay that you just click on it. And the ride is so cheap. It's like, how much is it? 180 yuan for a ride, which is so cheap. It's insane. Um, but that girl helped me and I'm so, so, so grateful uh, that now I can actually use the payment app, which is fantastic. So I went to the mall. Here are clips. I will talk over some of them, but I'll also let you see. The mall was huge, like so big. And there was a lot of clothing stores. There were a lot of like food shops. And also in their malls, it's so interesting, but they have a lot of activity areas. So there was also like a swimming pool. Um, I don't know if it's just for children or in general. There were like boxing things. There was like a dance studio. There was, uh, there was even a place where you could ski or like snowboard. I, I don't know how, but I saw someone and they had like this slope and it kept moving like a treadmill. Um, and you just did it. it. It was crazy. First time I saw that, but I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but I, I looked for a bookstore for the longest time and they didn't have one. I, do Chinese people not read books? Because it's insane. Do, does everyone buy them online? Where do people purchase books? Because it's a mall. How can it not have a bookstore? I thought that was ridiculous. Uh, but there was like a cafe sort of thing that also kind of sold, uh, sold some books um, and I did ask if they had some English ones but they had a tiny amount there were like 20 books maximum and all of them were uh, children's stories so there was like Mulan there were all these stories um, but it's just I wanted actual books and they didn't have actual books well so <sighs> The search for books continues. Maybe I have to order them online. I still don't know how, but maybe that's the only option I have. But I did purchase some things from the mall. Uh, one of the things that was the most important that I wanted to purchase uh, was a power bank. And I did get one. Uh, I went into Miniso and I found a power bank there. Whoop. So as you can see, I got my power bank and it has like two of these um, and I just, it's important that I have one that works with my phone. That's the only thing. When I got it, my phone was almost dying. It was like a 28% and I still needed it for the right bags because you can't pay otherwise. I don't know. They just don't accept card, which is insane. But <laughs> I was like, I turned it on to see if it had any battery. I was hopeful and it did. So I was able to charge my phone. It's like now it's like 60, 70%. Uh, so that is fantastic. I had no trouble with that at all. Uh, and then let me show what else I bought. So this was the power bank from Miniso. Then from Miniso, I also got this lint roller because I need it for one of my clothes. Uh, I got this candy, which I think is sour by the picture. It might not be because I have been disappointed by pictures before. And I got this hair roller thing just to try it. Um, and after that, I went to another store. Um, again, not a bookshop because they don't have those. It was like um, stationery stores. There are quite a few of those in there. And a lot of them sold like mystery boxes with different characters and I did want one but a lot of them they're so expensive it's like so expensive I was like I'm not spending money for something I'm never going to use uh, but I went to one store and I got this this is like a manuscript paper and it's it's like little squares like the Asian squares I don't know how to call them uh, but I got that and I got this little notebook and it it's basically teaching kids how to write words can you see that 
and it has a word and it's on both pages so I can actually learn Chinese because that is an objective of mine. So far I can only say hello and thank you and that is not enough so I definitely need to practice my Chinese. Um, and after that, oh the store I went to is called Pilot? I don't think that's what it's called because that's the pen um, brand but I'm not sure. Um, maybe that is what it's called, who knows. And then I got three of these brushes because they're not really pens, there are pens, but they're for like Asian calligraphy. How do I call that? And there are different sizes. So this is, this is, as you can see here on top, this is like the thinnest, can you see it? This is like the thinnest, then you have this, and then you have this, which is the thicker. So I bought three just to see how they work. They were like five yuan each, which is very cheap. They had others, which one of them was 20 yuan, which is a lot, but I, I got these cheap and I hope, I hope they work well. Uh, and after that, I went to Pizza Hut. It was delicious. I got a pizza. Uh, I don't know. It's good, but it's not the kind of pizza I love. But I still haven't found a place where they have pizzas, I guess. that. So I just went for something I'm familiar with. Uh, and after that, I went to... They had like a little super... A little. It was very big. It was actually a big supermarket. So it was way larger than the one I have been previously to. So if I'm ever doing shopping, I think I'll just go to that... Um, to that mall it is very far away from where I am but I can just take the bus there and if I have a lot of things I can just taxi back so I think that's what I'm gonna do from now on because uh, they had a bunch of things there like I said it's a very big one and look at this I paid quite a lot there but there's a reason I got Gorilla this is Penne uh, and then this is Spaghetti and it was expensive, like it was ridiculously expensive. Uh, I think this was like 24 or 25 yuan, just as a spaghetti, which is absurd, but it is an important good. And they have so many noodles and they're so cheap, but I just want spaghetti. <laughs> My stepfather's Italian. I have grown up eating Italian food and I just, I really wanted something familiar, so I went for Barilla. I would have bought other pastas as well, but they only had spaghetti and penne. But that's, even that is amazing because the other supermarket I went at didn't have any like European pasta. So I was so grateful to find this, like so grateful. You wouldn't even know. Uh, then I got this cup, it's for, the bathroom to put my toothbrush in. This was three yuan. Um, and then I got a pan. It's quite heavy. Um, it was like 159, I think, yuan, but it also has a lid. And I really needed a pan because I burn every single thing I cook in the wok. I think my fire is way too big and powerful so everything burns and the wok is very thin um, so I, I really needed a pan also I need the surface of the pan because the wok is large but the actual surface is small because you're supposed to like cook like things in the wok and that I don't usually cook so I got a pan um, hopefully now I won't burn things especially since this is a lot thicker um, and I have hopes, but glad I found this. And then um, I just bought some cotton swabs. Um, just, you never know when you need it. And then I got this, which is it's either dragon fruit or passion fruit. It's dragon fruit. This is dragon fruit. And they're so cheap in here. It's, it's ridiculous. Like... <laughs> I think I paid seven or eight yuan for this thing. And that's insane, because, wait, I should have the receipt. 
So for the cup, I paid $3.99. For the pan, I paid $159. For the cotton swabs, I paid $10.90. For the spaghetti, I paid $24.90. Uh, for the penne, I paid $23.80, which is a lot. Again, it's like 500 grams, so it's a lot. Uh, and then for... The, no, I paid even less. That is insane. For this dragon fruit, I paid $4.76. $4.76! It's insane! In, in my country, it would have been 5 or 10 times more expensive. Insane. Um, so... <laughs> probably eat it tomorrow and I'm just I'm so excited I should definitely explore more with fruits that are coming here because for one I don't know them very well and for the second reason they're very cheap in here because usually they get imported into Europe so it's obviously they're going to cost more um, so I'm really excited for this so um, and after I exited the supermarket, there were a bunch of stalls. It's very weird when you exit the supermarket because you don't exit immediately. They make you like like an Ikea serpent <laughs> uh, through a bunch of stalls and different stores. And uh, in one of them, I saw this. Look at this. It's like Tanghulu, but with uh, strawberries. Oh, I don't want to... Oh, I think this is edible. Yeah, this is edible. <laughs> it would have been really bad if it wasn't. Oh, do I have to eat it now that it's melted into the strawberries? Well, it doesn't matter. I bought this. These are Tanghulu strawberries. I, I don't know how to call them. Um, they had one with uh, multiple fruits or one with... Little, I don't know, some other fruits I don't know that are typical for Tanghulu, I believe. Maybe little apples? I don't know, but I got this. Um, it was like 15 yuan. It was more than I thought, but again, it is huge. So I will try this today, perhaps, or tomorrow, because I am very full. We'll see. But I got this, and I love how they package it. So nice. Um, the edible thing is falling everywhere. And then, once I came back uh, and got off from the bus, I stopped at, what do they call this? I stopped at this thing, I don't know what this is called, and I got like, um, frozen yogurt? Or is it ice cream? I don't know what this is. I got this with strawberry. This was like six yuan, which again, crazy cheap. I don't know why everything is so cheap here. Um, it's also not good for <laughs> for my weight because it keeps growing and I do need to exercise. I said I would do it today, but it's already, what is it? It's already 10 p.m. and I haven't, so. But I did do more than 10,000 steps today, so. Um, this is what I did today. It was a bunch. Now I have to put everything away and just relax, which is great because I don't have anything to do tomorrow, so. <laughs> This is it for today. I don't know if I'm going to film tomorrow, but if I will, I will see you tomorrow. If not, I'll probably end the video. So, bye. I just give the earth my soul. Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls.